the Senate um, confirm Judge Kennedy Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court, making her the first Black woman to serve on the U.S. top on the U.S. court. The 53-47 final vote tally showed by Preston support for Jackson, which with three Republicans joining all Democrats to elevate the 51-year-old federal judge to a lifetime appointment. Jackson is President Joe Biden's first Supreme Court nominee. She will replace retiring Justice Stephen Pryor, 83, who was confirmed to the bench in 1994. So uh, this happened last Thursday, making her the 116th justice and the first black woman to serve on the U.S. court. Um, Vice President Kalama Harris, the first black woman ever to hold that title, presided over the vote to confirm Jackson. Harris appeared momentarily, choked up with emotion, as she sh as she read out the vote result, which drew a swell of applause and cheering from the Senate floor. Jackson would join a court that has grown substantially more conservative following the appointment of the of three of former President Donald Trump's nominees. Her addition will maintain the size of the court's liable wing, which is outnumbered six to three by the conservative block. Just five women, Sandra Day Honor, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Sonia Sotomayor, Ella Kagan, and Amy Cohen. Barrett has served on the Supreme Court. Only two black men, Thurgood Marshall and Clarence Thomas, has ever been appointed on the bench. No black woman has previously sat on the high court. Biden said in a tweet, and I quote, Judge Jackson's confirmation with a historic moment for, all, for our nation. We've taken another step forward, making our highest court reflect the diversity of America. She will be an incredible justice, and I was honored to share this moment with her. Also, Jackson is also set to become the first Supreme Court justice to ever serve as a, as a public defender. Democrats have touted that experience as more evidence that Jackson will bring fresh perspective to a historically hom homogeneous court. Public defenders are assigned to defend people in criminal cases who may otherwise be able to hear their own counsel, which is a constitutional right. Republicans, however, have tried to wield Jackson's public defender experience against her by accusing her of sympathizing with the views or actions of some of her past clients, including detainees at the Guantanamo Bay military prison in Cuba. Of course, a senator from Arkansas was criticized from remarking to Sam Senate floor that while former president, former Justice Robert Jackson let the Supreme go to Nuremberg and prosecute cases against the Nazis. This just Jackson's might have gone there to defend them. Jackson failed that criticism and others during more than 23 hours of questioning over two grueling days of confirmation hearings in the Senate Judiciary Committee last month. So, of course, that checks has been, has been, has been, so, so, um, so yeah, um, Jackson is now confirmed. She is now, she is now, uh, this was an episode, we talked about this episode a couple, uh, couple weeks ago, uh, actually, um, we are episode 10, I believe, yeah, we talked about this like two weeks ago, um, of, of this, back in, back in last, last um, month of March, so thank you. Thank goodness everything is, she has confirmed everything. So after 263 years, it is official. Now let's bring more Black women and more Black men to the Supreme Court. So we are just now getting started.